What are some simple things you can do to make yourself more attractive? Trim your nose hair and ear hair. I read that as eat hair and for a moment I was really confused as to the lengths you expect one to go to for an attractive appearance. Don't let your spit dry out close to your lips and form a grainy white coating. Guy in my workplace is like that. Nice guy. But I'm always scared a big gloob of white. Starchy. Melted shortbread looking gunk is going to escape the chasms of his lip opening and embed itself in my face. Head up. Shoulders back. And tighten your core when you're walking. If you want to look and feel more confident. Change your posture. Even if it means faking it, eventually you'll start to believe it. Learn to breathe correctly. A lot of people are shallow breathing fcks. Breathe from your stomach not your chest and set aside a few minutes every day to take very deep breaths. This will do wonders for your stress levels. A weary heart is oftentimes visible on your face. Drink more water. Eat more vegetables. Stretch. And exercise. If you don't want to go to the gym then get off Reddit. Put on music or a podcast. And go walk outside for at least 30 minutes every day. Your body is meant to move. Do it. Respect yourself and be much more gentle with yourself. People are finicky. One minute they like you. The next minute they don't. The only constant is yourself. So be more attractive for you. If you change the way you look at things. The things you look at change. Asterisk. There's kind of a notion like why don't my friends do anything cool? Why are they like this? I wish my life was full of really awesome people. But the reality is that you can be the one to make it happen. To be who everyone would like to be with. Actually listen to what people are saying. Yes. I would like a sandwich. If you don't like something at least see the appeal in it. People hate it when you blatantly hate something without giving it a chance. But do you see the appeal in blindly hating things or do you just blindly hate it? Physically. A very simple skincare routine of face washing and moisturizing gives you a glow. Very simple workouts like push-ups and sit-ups and squats. And. 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 Make a fairly quick and noticeable change in posture which makes you walk more erect, jiggity, and is apparently an attractive tray. Mentally. Read. I believe in taking care of myself and a balanced diet and rigorous exercise routine. In the morning if my face is a little puffy I'll put on an ice pack while doing stomach crunches. I can do 1000 now. After I remove the ice pack I use a deep pore cleanser lotion. In the shower I use a water activated gel cleanser. Then a honey almond body scrub. And on the face an exfoliating gel scrub. Then I apply an herb mint facial mask which I leave on for 10 minutes while I prepare the rest of my routine. I always use an aftershave lotion with little or no alcohol. Because alcohol dries your face out and makes you look older. Then moisturizer. Then an anti-aging eye balm followed by a final moisturizing protective lotion. Don't be a complainer. I don't mean pretend everything is fine all the time but don't let yourself engage in, or especially start, that low level bitching that so quickly becomes a habit. Try and find something positive to say if you are struggling to make conversation. And if you can't then express your opinion plainly. Don't talk about being annoyed by something. Talk about being disappointed. Don't be the person who is always tearing stuff down. I cannot tell you how unattractive it is when somebody around you whines or is negative a lot. And once someone notices you're doing it. They can't unnotice. Also people will stop wanting to be open and honest about how they feel about something around you in case you're negative about it. If all you have in common with someone is a love of putting stuff down and complaining about things then one day in the future you'll realize that the only thing left you haven't yet complained about in detail is each other and then the real unhappiness will start. Have interests or hobbies. Put a black line on my eyelid and bam. I go from a 3 to a 3. I've learned that as a man I can either get away with scruffy hair or a scruffy beard. But never both. I'm currently rocking short neat hair and a stubbly tramps beard. Holy crap you're right. I never put it together before. 
But if I'm bumming it and do my hair. I look rugged. What if I'm clean shaven but leave my hair messy I look suave. But if I'm scruffy and my hair is messy I look homeless. Nice insight. According to Tinder. Don't mention you smoke. Edit. Also. Don't smoke. Edit too. Damn. This exploded and I thought it would get buried. For detail. I am a male and I've been experimenting with Tinder. Thought I'd be honest and mention I smoke in my profile and that resulted in way less matches. Not that I was rolling in them though. I am trying to quit. And believe it or not. This discovery is helping. Always knew it was unattractive. But I'd never seen the results so obviously. I've been out of the dating game for a while and when I was. I surrounded myself with people who smoke at smoking friendly places, college. It was a lot easier then. Now I realize that it is true that less than 15% of the USA still smokes. And I know why. Yes. I was only talking about tobacco. I'm pretty sure a massive amount more women find tobacco way more repulsive compared to weed. Wash your ass. My donkey's hygiene is not your concern. Pretend to be confident. Whether you have high self esteem or not. Other people seeing you confident is a definite plus one. As a bonus. Eventually you won't have to pretend anymore. Dressing a little nicer helps a lot. I'm usually just a t-shirt and jeans kinda guy. So when I do car keys and a button up. People usually take notice. Nothing too fancy. But it seems to have an effect. On a similar note. Dress to fit your body type. Some examples. Don't be the guy that wears an overly large shirt which fits awkwardly. If you're a bit bigger in the stomach area. Consider tucking your button down shirt in, it'll make you look skinnier. Wear the right style of jeans. Do things that broaden your horizons. Take something you do and do it bigger. Do things completely new. Go where you're least comfortable. Do the opposite of what your gut tells you every once in a while. Ask questions about other people. One of the biggest turn offs for me is when people don't ask questions about others. It gives me the impression that they are self centered and don't care about anyone else. Seriously. Ugh. Take a shower every day and wash yourself thoroughly. If you smell nice. It's a big plus. I pride myself on smelling good. I'm a big guy. I look like a dork. I dress like a hobo but I smell fabulous. I love it when people tell me I smell good. Because there's always that hint of surprise in their voice. I look like I should smell like pot and salty garbage. But I don't. Don't let your problems define who you are. I know a few people who have nothing to talk about expect for their bipolar depression. Or their failed relationships. Or how they have no friends. ETC etc. You shouldn't ignore these things. Or pretend they don't affect you. But those are the sorts of things that people who are close to you get to know. Don't bring them up in casual conversation or a first date. Stand next to Steven Tyler. This isn't exactly simple. But it's the most important. Identify and confront your big personal flaws or shortcomings. For me. It was realizing and accepting I had an anxiety problem. And so I bit the bullet and spent a year working with a counselor on that. And it changed my life. At the same time. I stopped thinking so much about why I wasn't seeming to be attractive to women. And focused instead on trying to live really fully and openly. I trained for and ran a marathon. Had a lot of time on my hands. Read a bunch. Went to lots of concerts. And got over my fear of rejection by going on a lot of first dates. Nobody who's emotionally healthy will want to be a solution to your loneliness problem or sympathy will be a person with a full. Vibrant life who sees you as someone who also has a full. Vibrant life that's worth sharing. Use the darkness. Stay in the shadows. Wear a hoodie. Girls like persistence too. So be sure to follow them home from the bar. If they start screaming and running. That's just them testing your dedication to winning them over. Run with them. Maybe let out a growl that gradually increases in volume too. 
to give off that alpha vibe. Always works. Stand up straight. Smile. Brush your goddamn teeth. Take a goddamn shower. Wear some deodorant. This does not mean shower yourself in perfume. I'm looking at you. Axe holes. Get yourself a toothpick. A leather jacket and some aviators. Slick your hair back with some shiny shti and get a muscle car. Smile. Exorcise daily. I'd steer clear of someone who needed to do that. Avoid profanity and work on improving your vocabulary. FCK that and FCK you. I'd like to amend this one a bit. Just to save any future pedants a top spot on our I am Varismit. Using some profanity is totally fine. Especially in the appropriate setting. Calling someone an ass has a very distinct feeling that jerk or butthead don't quite cover. Sorry about my buddy. Mitch. He's a bit of an ass. It has a very specific meaning that isn't quite covered by other words. So use profanity sparingly. And in the proper situations. As for improving your vocabulary. Faulkner said it best. Comma does he, Mingwei, really think big emotions come from big words? He thinks I don't know the $10 words. I know them all right. But there are older and simpler and better words. And those are the ones I use. Don't use big words. Don't use small words. Don't use complex words. Don't use simple words. Don't use obscure words. And don't use common words. Just use the right words. Use your body to do things. You don't have to become a gym rat. But do something. Martial arts. Sports. Yoga. Whatever. Your balance will improve. Your posture will improve. Your metabolism will improve. Your sleep will improve. Your mood will improve. It's a magic f king bullet. Never stop. Men. Have you ever thought about the state of your eyebrows? No. They might be fine. But ask a woman you trust if there's room for improvement. A well-groomed set of brows can work wonders on almost every face. Same goes for ladies. But most women I know already give too many shts about too many things. I believe in taking care of myself and a balanced diet and rigorous exercise routine. In the morning if my face is a little puffy I'll put on an ice pack while doing stomach crunches. I can do 1000 now. After I remove the ice pack I use a deep pour cleanser lotion. In the shower I use a water activated gel cleanser. Then a honey almond body scrub. And on the face an exfoliating gel scrub. Then I apply a herb mint facial mask which I leave on for 10 minutes while I prepare the rest of my routine. I always use an aftershave lotion with little or no alcohol. Because alcohol dries your face out and makes you look older. Then moisturizer. Then an anti-aging eye balm followed by a final moisturizing protective lotion. Switch things up. I'm usually a jeans and shirt kind of person. But when I put on a dress. Or even a skirt. It not only gives me a little confidence boost to be wearing something out of my norm. But people tend to notice. That little confidence boost can be picked up on by other people. I definitely notice when a girl makes a change like that in fashion. I've said it before. Smell good. But not overbearing. Be hygienic. Be nice to kids and animals. Additional things. Smile genuinely. Listen with passion. My trick. Go to grocery store. Fill bag with cosmetics and health foods. Get home. Dump everything out of bag. Put bag on my head. Continue to do nothing different. Ferociously whip out the D and helicopter it at max RPM to instantaneously attract all female homo sapiens in the vicinity. Don't be rude. Seriously. You could have a face carved by God himself. But if you're a major douchebag it will take your attractiveness level down several pegs. People who are genuinely kind. And friendly. Are way more attractive than those who are not. Doesn't matter if your appearance is a 10. If your personality is a 3. Then you're a 3. Get a haircut. Buy new. 
Nicer shoes that don't cost 19. 99. Invest in some button downs that are form fitting, not baggy. Invest in slim fit jeans or chinos. Nice fitting pair of jeans looks good with almost anything. Girls also like seeing nice butts too so don't get them too loose. Put some high powered magnets in your pockets. I did that. I was skeptical but tried to remain positive. But it didn't work as I only attracted negative people. A lot of these tips would be much easier if I wasn't depressed. To be fair. Most things are easier when you're not depressed. Learn to cook. I learn to cook with shrimp every day I cook shrimp with different flavors and styles. They cook fast and are small and ready to control a few at a time. It gave me an understanding of flavors and the difference in cooking something and overcooking something. Comma every day I cook shrimp with different flavors and styles. Anyway. Like I was saying. Shrimp is the fruit of the sea. You can barbecue it. Boil it. Broil it. Bake it. Saute it. Days up. Shrimp kebabs. Shrimp creole. Shrimp gumbo. Pan fried. Deep fried. Stir fried. There's pineapple shrimp. Lemon shrimp. Coconut shrimp. Pepper shrimp. Shrimp soup. Shrimp stew. Shrimp salad. Shrimp and potatoes. Shrimp burger. Shrimp sandwich. That that's about it. Lose weight. Don't be fat. How many great looking fat people do you see and then think? I would love to have sex with that person. None. This is going to sound silly. But honestly. Just being a decent human being. Don't say anything behind someone's back you wouldn't say to their face. Treat people with respect. Own up to mistakes. Be someone people look up to for those reasons. Because in the end it's not going to matter how physically attractive you are. Some of the people I've been most attracted to haven't been lookers. But they are genuinely kind people and the kind of people I want around. I'm from a small midwestern town. Anytime I go to the local Kroger there at least 90% of the people. Minus employees. Are in their pajamas. This is any time of the day on any given day of the week. It's really kinda sad. I'm all for being comfortable but unless you are a coach or just leaving the gym how hard is it to put on a real pair of pants to go out in public? It seems like no one cares about their appearance anymore. Same with airports. My dad always wore a sport coat when we flew anywhere. Mostly because he didn't have to pack it then but still. It's nice to see people put a little effort into their appearance. I'll quote my roomie. Who do I have to impress? Kill all the people more attractive than you. Stop smoking. If you smoke. Better skin. Better smell. More money for clothes. Wish me luck. Day 5 now. By the way you're all blessed with a fabulous look. Aftershave perfume. If a guy smells nice. I notice him. Be positive and happy. Nobody likes a Debbie Downer and even unhappy people flock to happy people to leech off of their positive vibes. Be confident in who you are. I'm not very sure I can do that though. Lose weight. I've known many people over the years that turned out to be gorgeous as FCK when they lost weight.